day welcome this is your daily med with lady v today we want to look at the amazing announcement that uh, angel gabriel made when he appeared to the virgin named mary as we know from saint luke 1 verse 26 uh, um through 38 uh, that uh, the angel made this announcement and we know that she was engaged to a man named Joseph. She was going to have a child while she was a still a virgin. The child would be named Jesus and would be Israel's long awaited messiah and we'll see that in saint luke chapter 1 verse 26 through verse 33 the angel explained the miraculous nature of this conception and so to substantiate his amazing prediction he told mary that her relative elizabeth who was old and Barren was now also with child. She miraculously conceived. St. Luke 1 34 through 37. So Mary expressed her willingness to bear the child. When we look at St. Luke 1 verse 38, let's see what she says saint luke 1 38 she says and mary said behold the unmade of the lord be it unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from her so she expressed by what she said i am willing to do this so six months prayer, we understand that the angel Gabriel had appeared to Zacharias and informed him that his wife Elizabeth would have a child. This time, the angel appeared to a virgin Mary who lived in Nazareth of Galilee. And as we know, she was engaged to this man named Joseph. The angel addressed Mary as one who was highly favored one whom the lord was visiting with a special privilege if we notice the angel did not worship mary but she was troubled by the greetings she wondered what it meant the angel calmed her fear then told her that God has chosen her to be the mother of the long-awaited Messiah. So when we look at some important truths here, is that the real humanity of uh, the Messiah, he says, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth uh, a son. His deity and his mission as a savior. And he shall be called it name Jesus, meaning Jehovah is the Savior. He says his essential greatness. He will be great both as in his person and in his work. His identity as the Son of God. He will be called the son of the highest. The title that is given to him. And he will sit upon the throne of David. The Lord God will grant or give to him the throne of his father David. The Lord will give him this and establish him as the Messiah. He said, he's everlasting and universal kingdom 
his reign will be forever over the house of Jacob and of his kingdom there will be no end. So Mary questioned, how can this be? This was not a question of doubt, but one of wonder. I don't have any relationships with a man. But the angel assured her that this would be a miracle of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, he says, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. So here is a statement of the incarnation. Mary's son would be God's manifestation in the flesh. The angel then broke the news to Mary, as we have already said, that Elizabeth, her relative, was in her sixth month of pregnancy. And so because Mary knew of a fact that her cousin was barren, this miracle was to reassure her that God is with us, or God is with her, and that there is nothing that is impossible with God. She knew Elizabeth's situation. And she can now see if Elizabeth, my cousin, is with child. Then certainly what the angel is here now saying to me, it is from God and it is true. Luke 1, 26 through 38, as we read the entire announcement. It says, um, Luke chapter 1, uh, starting at verse 26. He says, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing that shall be born that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called Barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed.
parted from her. So we saw in this lesson Mary's willing surrender. She willingly surrendered to that which God wanted for her life. And therefore, she was favored or privileged to bring forth the Messiah, God's only Son, the Savior of the world. So throughout this season, let us continue to give God thanks for sending to us His one and only Son. And that purpose is that His Son would die for lost humanity. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Also, please share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.